Chapter 5, Mishnah 5. As we have learned, Leket, Shechicha, and Peya are exempt from Teruma and Maiser. The Mishnah teaches the extent of this exemption. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If a farmer exchanges ordinary produce with poor people for Leket, Shechicha, or Peya that they collected, he is exempt from separating Teruma and Maaser from the produce that is now his, namely, the Leket, Shechicha, or Peya that he receives from the poor because these portions remain exempt from tithes even if the poor give them to other people. But the farmer is obligated to separate, to separate teruma and ma'eser from the produce that now belongs to the poor, i.e. he must tithe the ordinary produce before he gives it to the poor, because ordinary produce remains obligated in teruma and ma'aser even if it is given to a poor person. Even if the farmer is poor, he may not take leket, shechicha, pe'a, or ma'aser ani from his own crops. He must leave them for other poor people to take. The Mishnah discusses an application of this law. If two poor people rented a field as sharecroppers, neither may keep the gifts to the poor from his share of the produce, because a sharecropper is considered an owner of the field, and thus may not take these portions for himself. However, this one may give that one the ma'aser ani from his share, and that one may give this one ma'aser ani from his share, because each sharecropper only owns each sharecropper owns only his own share and has no ownership in the other's share. A similar case. If a poor person was hired to harvest a field and is paid with a share of the crop, he is forbidden to take its leket, shechicha, pe'a, or ma'aser ani, because he is considered to have some ownership in the field. Rabbi Yehuda said, when is this true? When he was hired by the owner for a share of the standing crop. For example, he was promised a half, a third, or a quarter of the standing produce. Since the worker was granted a share in the crop while it is standing, he is an owner of the crop at the time when it becomes obligated in leket, shechicha, and pea, namely, the time of the harvest, and thus may not take any of these portions for himself. But if the owner said to the worker, after you harvest the field, a third of what you harvest shall be yours, the worker is permitted to take the fields leket, shechicha, and pea, because at the time of the harvest, he has no ownership in the field or crop. However, even in this case, he is forbidden to keep the ma'aser ani from the produce that he receives. This is because ma'aser ani is separated from the produce after the harvest is over. At that point, the worker is given a share of the produce as his own. Thus he may not take it to my Sarah Ani for himself.